burrowing owls have been extirpated in BC since about the 1980s. Part of the reason for losing them on the landscape was because we like to live exactly where they like to live and we like to farm where they like to live, which is sort of the fertile valleys in the Okanagan here. To remedy the situation, the program was started in the early 90s to actually breed burrowing owls in captivity and reintroduce them into artificial burrows into the grasslands of the interior of BC. The BC Wildlife Park has been involved with burrowing owl breeding since the mid-90s. There's several challenges for the burrowing owl. They're a very small owl. They're ground dwelling, so they do have a lot of predators. They're preyed upon by other owls, other raptors, coyotes, badgers. Because burrowing owls have fairly high mortality, they do have really large clutches. So they will have up to seven to 12 owlets. They're fairly fast growing like most bird species. Within about six to eight weeks, they'll have fledged, which is they're able to fly, but they'll stay within that family group for a few months. We try to aim for somewhere around 100 owls to release per year. So that's roughly 50 pair. We band them, then we do a few measurements. We take their weight, measure their wing and their leg, and then we pair them up, male and female, based on sort of similar size. Then we release them into our artificial burrows in the Nicola Valley and in the South Okanagan. A lot of people say, well, you guys have been doing it since the 90s. Are you successful? Yes, we're successful at breeding the owls in captivity. We're successful in providing them artificial burrows. However, the burrowing owls do migrate south in the winter. The issue is them coming back. This is our last piece, is working with our partners across Canada and the United States to track where they're going and how come they're not coming back in the numbers that we would like to be sustainable. They certainly are a very charismatic species and very cute. It's a good species to have as an ambassador for this kind of conservation project. It's easy to love them. 